All right, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I was just going on a live stream on this uh, channel here called uh, Q Brother, and I've actually been on this stream. I want to say maybe four or five days ago, I joined one of the streams for maybe two hours, and we had a conversation. So I saw him live today, so I went to hop up, and because uh, apparently what happens is they're they're having like different hosts that are doing like certain hours apparently so it's not like the same host when i went on last time you know they had somebody else on so long story short what happened was i went on the stream and you know they asked me well what, what do you want to talk about and then i mentioned something and then they say well wait before you go forward have you given a donation to uh this uh foundation this school that we're running and then i say well hey man you know I didn't even know that you guys had like any type of, you know, fundraiser or any type of, um, you know, any type of thing going on, right? Because they said it was for like poor black kids or whatever. I say, hey, man, you know, that's that's cool. You know, hey, maybe one time when I can, I can throw you a couple of dollars to that. You know, it's not a problem. But, you know, they automatically, you know, wanted to paint me out as if like I'm like disrespecting the black community because I didn't give a donation. But it's like. Literally, I didn't even know that you guys are doing any type of fundraiser to, in the very beginning. And then I pointed out, because uh, here's where it gets funny. They told me, well, hey, if you're not going to give a donation, man, then you can't come on the stream and join the conversation. I was thinking to myself, wait, what? You know, I've been on, out of the last eight years, I've been on 1,000 live streams on different channels all, all, all on the internet, right? 1,000 streams. I've never been told by not one person, black or white, that I need to pay a, a donation or some type of fee in order to join in a live stream conversation. And you know what I find funny is they literally have like, what, 10 other people on there. But when new people join, they didn't ask them for any type of donation or how much they've given this week. But magically, when I go on, the only white guy, oh, now all of a sudden they you know ask for the donation because really what i think is going on is they thought that i had some money since i'm white right and they're all black so that's probably the reason they asked for a donation because they imagine i had money since i'm white and then i simply said well hey man to tell you the truth you know i'm probably more poor than all of you in here and that's a true statement right i'm probably more poor than most of you in here you know, then they try to, you know, twist it to make it into some type of like racist statement, which clearly it's not. Um, you know, to make it say like, well, why are you say that, the, you know, well, us, you imagine that we're poor. It's like, well, wait, if, if you're not poor in some sort, then why are you guys going around asking for donations then? Obviously, it's because you guys want funding for your school or whatever the fundraisers for, right? If you guys were wealthy, you would have been able to um, you know, fulfill all those needs yourself without begging people for donations. So again, I just thought this was like so uh, asinine that, you know, they, they literally told me, well, you got to leave, man, unless you give a donation. You know, and, and it, it's funny because they try to put me on the spot to make it look like I'm like a bad person because I don't have, you know, a couple dollars to give, right? They make it look like, like I don't want to, you know, help the foundation for poor children, even though literally yesterday when I was at the store, they asked me, you know, would you like to like, you know, round up your, you know, 80 cents, um, besides the tax, right? Cause I was at the store, you know, buying a couple things. And then it came to like, say for instance, like $10 and 20 cents right after the tax. And then I asked, um, you know, would you like to round up your coins uh, to donate to, you know, St. Jude. And I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. But then I go on this panel and they make it sound like, oh, well, you know, you don't care about the children, right? You don't care, otherwise you would have helped. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. You know, I just found that amazing. So here it is. These guys complain about how white people won't talk to them. But then me as a white person, I'm willing to go on an all-black panel to have a conversation and they literally chase me out by begging me for donations. I mean, come on, this, this is just amazing. And I do want to say the host from last time was actually relatively recent compared to the douchebag 
that they had on this um you know on this stream today when I went on because again I said it's ran by like uh, multiple different people apparently because they do streams like like 12 hours um and then when the 12 hours ends then they start another one almost immediately so basically it's like 24 7 you know but again I just found that amusing to me is they ask me what you want to talk about, and then I mention a topic or two, and then as we're about to talk about it, they ask, well, have you given a donation yet? And then I say, hey, man, well, maybe in the future I can give a donation, but I, hell, I didn't even know that you guys were doing any type of, you know, fundraiser or whatever. Then he sound, makes it sound like, oh, well, you haven't given because you just don't care about helping black children. It's like, dude, what, when did I say that? <laughs> when, when, when did I say that? It's like you're literally you know, putting words in my mouth to make me look like a bad person when literally this is the second time I've been on this panel. So how the hell am I supposed to know that you guys charge money to go talk on the panel? And then wait a second. You know, hell, I don't know if this guy, maybe he was like lying and maybe he wanted to, to pocket a couple dollars for himself because the last time I went on the stream, nobody mentioned the word fundraiser. Nobody mentioned the word donations. And I was on for like two hours. So nobody even mentioned those words. So why is it the first two minutes I join now, you are asking for donations, otherwise I won't be allowed to contribute to the conversation. Hell, and, and you guys, you know, it's funny to me because these guys make it sound like, you know, well, the white people are, you know, corrupt and all this and, you know, they're oppressing on YouTube. Which, again, I agree the blacks are the Israelites, but this is a different topic here. Um, but the point is, I've never went on a white stream where they literally say, well, you have to give a donation, otherwise we won't let you add into the conversation and we'll kick you off. It's like literally you guys, the black community, on this stream, I can't speak for other, you know, communities on YouTube, but this a stream, Q Butter. Um, you guys are the only ones I've seen out of my eight years of being, doing live streams that literally beg people for a donation or they can't add to the conversation. I mean, wow, that, that's just, that's a whole low thing right there. And then the dummies on the stream were like, well, you can't say that we're poor, right? You can't say that, you know, we're poor because you don't know. It's like, okay, fair enough. But I said, the truth is, Right, me as the only one guy on here out of, you know, 10 of the black people on here, I am more poor than all you guys. So shit, you, you, hell, I, I'm the one who needs donations, you know what I'm saying? Shit, out of all the people on there, I'm the dude that needs to get a couple handouts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so again, I just thought this was amusing, you know, I had to do a quick video on this because this just happened like, this just happened like 10 or 15 minutes ago. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do a quick video on this just to go on a little bit of a rant, right? You know, again, I, that caught me off guard. It's like, well, how the hell do you expect me to know that you guys need a donation if literally this is the second time I've been on this live stream and literally nobody mentioned that last time I was on here? And then the very fact that they told me, well, unless you give a donation, you know, we're going to have to remove you from it. It's like, wow, that's... Uh, Hell, you're not going to see white people doing that on their, their streams, man. Absolutely, you're not going to see uh, white people going around telling people you have to give donations or we're going to remove you from the live stream. That's something that this community here is doing. You know, again, that's not a good look, man. You know, as a person who actually hosts live streams myself, again, I let anybody on the stream, you know, Muslim, Christian, atheist, agnostic, black, white, you know, whatever's in the middle, you know, any nationality, I let anybody on the panel to have a friendly conversation as long as, you know, it's, um, you know, done indecently and, and, and in order. I don't charge anybody for anything, right? As long as it's decently and in order, I allow anybody on to share the information and, you know, to have conversations. But these dudes, apparently, which actually you see they're live right now, that's the stream I just went on. And apparently they won't let white people on without requesting for donations, 
But magically, of course, everybody else that went on, they didn't ask them, well, have you contributed this week? You know, how much have you donated to this foundation? It's like, well, why have you guys not asked that to anybody else? But the one white guy who actually joined your stream, you ask him and you chase him away from having a conversation. I mean, this is just amazing to me. I mean, this is astonishing. You know, it's just amazing to me. Again, this gives the black community a bad look, this channel right here. You know, so again, I just want to do a quick video just exposing this hypocrisy. Because again, out of my eight years on YouTube, literally joining a thousand plus live streams, I've never had anybody tell me, okay, well, look, you know, you have to give a donation or we're going to kick you from the live stream. Like literally, I've never had anybody tell me that before. Never out of the thousands and thousands of hours that I've talked to people on live streams throughout the years, I've never had one person tell me, okay, well, you have to go give a donation or we don't want you to talk here. So literally, these guys are saying, okay, well, in order to join in a conversation, you have to pay us money. Uh, well, why is that? I want you guys doing a open panel live stream. Like, like literally, I want you doing an open panel. Look, look it says it. Look, it says talking open panel, meaning what? That it's an open live stream discussion where people can join and contribute to the conversation. Literally, it's, the video says that, as you just saw. So apparently, according to, to these dudes, in order, if you're white, to join the open panel conversation, you have to give a small donation. And if you can't forever give a donation that day, well, that just means that you don't want to help black children in need. It's like, come on. I mean, this is just, this is amazing to me. You know, and that pisses me off. You're literally going to sit there and tell me that, well, the reason I can't give the donation today, that must prove that you just don't want to help children in need. Say, well, dummy, I actually just gave a, a, a few cents they had on me, right? Because again, unlike you guys, I'm not rolling in cash. Because some of these dudes on there said, well, I, I'm wealthy, right? I got money, right? I got some money. So again, I'm not rolling in cash like somehow, like how some of you guys on the stream are doing, right? I'm not rolling in any cash. You know, I have to, like most people in this country, both black and white, you know, don't have, you know, two quarters to scratch together at the end of the paycheck that we get or at the end of the week, you know, or whatever. So again, I give what I can with the ability that I got. So again, it, you know, just pissing me off to hear that because it's like, Hey, look, man, even though I don't celebrate, you know, any of these pagan holidays, when I go to the store and I see the children's box there, uh, once in a while, I'll put something in there. Right. I still do that, even though I don't go by these holidays once in a while, just to be nice, right, to be a nice guy. I'll put something in one of these donation boxes for the children in need that don't have. Right. So they don't have to go without you know, on some of these national holidays, right? I've given money before to foundations for children in need. So again, I, I find that disrespectful and actually piss me off to be told, well, you, you know, that must mean that you just don't want to help children in need. That's absolutely not true. You know, absolutely not true. In fact, you know, I think that's, um, you know, a detestable thing uh, that you guys are doing there literally begging people for donations in order to join your live stream and contribute to the conversation, which basically the conversation is a bunch of bullshit anyway, right? A bunch of, well, I can't say that word, but a bunch of people on there just, they don't know anything about what they're talking about, just rambling on for 12 hours, <laughs> you know, at a time, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, and you want me to pay for that? Come on, man. Why the hell would I pay you to go on your channel if, for one, you're not going to let people even hear me because every time I go to speak, I'll get talked over. But, of course, when everybody else goes to speak, you'll make sure I don't talk over them, though. So, again, they want to say, well, we're not racist, but yet they literally um, will pretend like the black guy didn't call me the N-word when he literally did, and then when I call him out for it, you guys pretend that I'm making that up and lying on him on purpose. 
I mean, come on, you know, that this is, but, but if I did it to him, I'd be kicked out so quick. My internet would crash. You know what I'm saying? So again, I just find that to be amusing to me. You know, I just find it to be astonishing and amusing. You know, I had to quickly just do a, a video about this because I just found this to be completely ridiculous to tell me that, well, I can't join a open panel, meaning open discussion. Anybody can join. I can't join an open panel live stream unless I give a couple dollars in donation to your foundation. I mean, come on, this is just, this is amazing. So again, either the host of this channel, the people that moderate it, either they're inconsistent with each other, or maybe the one guy is just trying to pocket some cash behind everybody else's back. Because I, again, I said, I joined like a few days ago, and the moderator of the channel was very friendly with me. In fact, that he enjoyed having me on there. Matter of fact, when I had to leave, well, they booted me off, but when I left, the guy was actually mad that they chased me away because he wanted me to stay for a conversation. But apparently, according to the this new moderator that they have this hour, you know, he's on there like, oh, well, you know, you got to give a couple dollars in order to join the conversation. It's like, but wait, maybe you're just pocketing the cash because may, on the last live stream, the host there never even mentioned anything about a f fundraiser or any type of donations needed. So again, I just, I just find it's funny because one of the dudes even said, well, why would you suspect, you know, that we're poor when I made the statement and said, well, I'm probably more poor than you guys on here, right? Which is a true statement. But one of the dudes on there said, well, why would you make the statement as if, you know, we're all poor that, you know, basically you're saying that all black people are poor. It's like, I literally didn't say that, buddy. I know people that are um, African-American who are doing very well for themselves. So again, literally everything you try to say, they'll make it into some type of like racist statement when it clearly is not a racist statement. But again, you know, this is how people that are unintelligent and paranoid you know, think that every little thing you say is like a personal attack on them. You know, they can't actually rationally think and reason, you know, with themselves. You know, it's it's truly a um, a sad thing, right? That's truly a very sad thing, you know, that people out here, you know, are on that type of low. You know, they have to think, you know, in that standard. You know, but again, I just find that asinine. So here it is. You're doing an open panel live stream for people to join and have a conversation. But then when I joined to add into the conversation, which, by the way, it made me sit in the back chat for 10 minutes because they were like, well, I don't know if this is a real person, even though I literally showed my face on there. And I was on the stream before even people in the chat recognized me. <laughs> you know, it, it's just amazing to me, you know, but this is... uh. This is sad, you know, this is truly sad. You know, making people give donations in order to join an open panel live stream. Like, like say for instance, it's one thing if you ask people if they, you know, are able to donate. And if they say they can't, then, you know, just move on. You know, don't, don't ask them for a while again. You know, but even there was a dude on there who said, hey, look, man, you know, if you don't want to donate to help black children, just be honest and say so. You know, so again, they make it sound like if you say, well, maybe another day I can or, you know, I'll, I'll consider it. If you say that, they'll pretend like you're saying, well, I really don't want to help black children in need <laughs> when that's literally not what I'm saying. But again, you know, that demonstrates the absolute ignorance and hypocrisy involved here like say for instance right let, let, let's turn the tables let's turn the tide real quick let's give a hypothetical if one of them joined my live stream and i said you know are you going to donate to this charity we have to help uh white children in need and then i said oh well then the guy tells me like oh man you know another day i'll think about it and then i say well hey if you don't want to help white children in need then just be honest and say it it's like, obviously, the guy is not meaning it in that way. He probably just doesn't have the money right now because, you know, I don't know about you guys on this panel, but not all of us have cash to burn, right? Some of us live in poverty, right? Some of us don't have, um, you know, money to go out and do things. You know what I'm saying? So, again, it's like he, he wouldn't um, 
respect that. He he would probably be mad if, if I was to make a statement and say, oh, well, you know, if you don't want to help white children in need and just be honest and say so. He would be mad and find that to be disrespectful to say that, to make it look like he's deliberately not wanting to help people when that's not what he's saying. And then oh, they'll all agree, well, yeah, you know, he's just making that up, you know, to make you feel bad. But magically, of course, since I'm the person that's being uh, asked for the donation all of a sudden, they'll pretend like it's um, perfectly reasonable to say, oh, well, you know, well, if you don't want to help them, just be honest and say so. Even though I literally didn't say that to begin with. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's truly remarkable to me, you know, the level of ignorance and, and stupidity and, and, um, and just how dishonest th this platform was. And again, I can't say that on every day it's like that. And again, I even admitted the last host on it, I forget the dude's name, but he was very friendly. In fact, hell, I'd, I'd love to go on again with that character. But the host they had on this particular hour that I went on, you know, he's clearly either just pocketing the money himself behind the other host's back, um, or, uh, or I don't know, right? The communication between these guys must be very, um, you know, basic, right? They must not be able to, you know speak about the fundraiser on, on other streams and then other ones they do talk about it apparently that's what it seems because i watched the other stream and nobody mentioned the, the, any type of fundraiser but of course when the, the one white person calls in in 12 hours that magically that's now the time to mention that there's a fundraiser and you can't join and talk to us unless you give to our foundation it's like wow you know that's a uh, that gives your black community a, um, you know, that, that, that's a bad look, man. You know, that's really a bad look. Because, again, you don't see white streamers doing that. Now, they ask for donations once in a while with, like, super chats. But they've never said, well, you got to give me a donation or you can't come on and add to our conversation. Like, literally, it has never happened before. But I stumble upon... A black community stream, and keep in mind, this is like the only one I've seen in years, right? And this is the one stream that asks you to give them money or they won't let you talk. I mean, come on. This is just, this is amazing. And yet they want to sit there and bitch about how white people are being unfair. I mean, come on. That's just, and again, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, right? So again, for me to even sit here and say this, I mean, that, that shows you, right? That shows you, right? That, that clearly shows you. Even me, as a person that knows that the blacks are actually the Israelites in the Bible, of course. But even I can sit on here and say, well, yeah, the white streamers are, you know, they're, hell, they're more friendly and trustworthy compared to this black community here, right? Because all the other white streams, they're not asking you to give them donations in order to go on and have a conversation. I mean, this is bullshit right here. You know, but these guys, right, the one black community is asking white people to pay them money if they want to go on and chat. But then the other dude on there a few streams back would complain about, well, you know, white people don't really come around here. It's like, well, duh, if you're going to make us feel bad if we can't give you a donation to talk, well, then why the hell would they want to come on and talk? And then if they complain that white people won't talk, and then a white person myself calls in to have a conversation about whatever topic. And then they chase me away and uh, kick me off because I can't give them a couple dollars. I mean, come on. This is just, I mean, this guy had to be, this channel has to be talked about, man. I mean, this is just, this is astounding. You know, I've never seen such foolery before, you know, on this platform, YouTube. I mean, honestly, I think YouTube should ban channels that make people pay money in order to join and have conversations. I think that's uh, that that doesn't seem fair. If you're gonna do a open panel stream, it should be open panel, meaning a free conversation. Like, look, look, they say open panel. Look, let's look at the list of them. I don't know about you, but it looks like like ninety percent of these say open panel, meaning what? It's a open free conversation. So the fact that they make me, out of everybody else, um, you know, pay them money in order to go on and chat, I think that should, that goes against, you know, that seems immoral. So I think YouTube honestly should 
you know, make a rule where you're not allowed to name something an open panel conversation, but then you charge money in order to join a conversation. That, you know, this is where super chats come in, right? Super chats, you can pay uh, whatever you want. Like say, for instance, somebody might give $20 to give a super chat and um, you get perks with it. It gets, you know, it stays at the top of the comment board so everybody sees it as all the other comments go by. And then the host of the, the channel gets notified so he'll likely read it off live for people to see it. Or some people just give a dollar or two, five dollars, ten dollars, just to so show some support to the creator of the channel because they like his content. And all of that's good and, and daisy. But when you sit there and say, well, you have to give me a donation or you can't join and talk. I mean, that, that's that's a bit too far right there, man. I mean, that's a uh, that's completely ridiculous right there. So I think YouTube honestly should take action against that, you know, creators who do live streams or they force people to pay money in order to go on and talk to them. I think that should be banned on this platform. That shouldn't be allowed. Now, again, I think the super chats are completely fine. People can willingly pay whatever they want to send a super chat to the creator and get it shared on screen. That's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That's a good thing to have on this platform. But to sit there and force people to pay you money in order to join and talk on a open panel live stream, that seems like something bannable right there. You know, that's not a fair practice right there. Now, shit, if the stream said pay five dollars and you can join and chat, then I would say, oh, OK, well, sure. You know, I'll know beforehand not to come on because I don't have nothing to give you or maybe I don't want to contribute for whatever reason that might be. Like, say, for instance, somebody might do might be doing a stream where they're getting donations for the Church of Satan. It's like, well, no, nah, obviously I'm not going to donate to that, right? So, again, there's, there's different variables to take into consideration. But, again, you know, it just pisses me off because he makes it sound like, well, because I can't give you a donation for black children, that's just because I don't want to help black children. It's like, no, nah, I, I didn't say that. So, so why the hell are you, you know, putting words in my mouth? It's like, what if the table was flipped and you came on my stream and I said, well, hey, man, you know, if you didn't want to, hey, if you don't want to give donation to help white children in need and just admit it, obviously it would make him upset because he's not saying that. You know what I'm saying? So, again, they, they pretend like since they're black, they can get away with it. But since I look white, all of a sudden it's now morally somehow different i mean this is just amazing to me you know and it gives the black community a bad look so again i can't speak for other channels out there you know that have the black community but i'm saying this particular channel q butter um that that's that's ridiculous right there i mean and, and look at your channel who are you again less than 15k subscribers there's channels that have 100,000 subscribers, 200, 300,000 subscribers that bring people on to talk for free. Don't even mention the word donation. Don't even mention uh, given super chats. But you with 15,000 subscribers, well, under that, you're looking for all these donations to join and chat on the open panel live stream. I mean, come on, man. You know, you got to be more consistent with yourself. Now, I, th I think this honestly completely goes against YouTube guidelines, man, or it damn well should, you know, to, to host a open panel stream. And then when people come on, you trap them into to forcing them to give you donations. And if they can't, for whatever reason, you make them feel bad, like like they're actually, you know, a bad person because they can't give you like, say, for instance, man, you know, believe it or not, there's white people who are poor, like, say, for instance, some of you probably lived in nice homes. I'm talking about the people in um, the stream here on Q Brothers channel. Some of you probably grew up in a two-story house, but people like myself grew up in a trailer home, and we're white, right? Some of us don't come from anything, man. Some of us have to build ourselves from the ground up. So if I can't give you a couple dollars on a particular day, you shouldn't make it sound like, oh, well, it's because you don't want to help black children. Otherwise, you would have given it. It's like, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's, well, first of all, 
I'm unemployed. I don't have any money coming in whatsoever. I literally got $2 in my pocket and that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I've been in situations before where I've given money to, you know, single mothers in need or, you know, just people asking for a couple dollars for whatever the reason. You know what I'm saying? So again, it, you know, pissing me off to, you know, for, for you to make me look like, like I deliberately don't want to help you know, people when I've helped more people than you probably have. And again, I don't say that to, you know, put myself on a pedestal, but I'm just saying, you know, I've probably given more people money in my life than this character has, right? On the people on this pa uh, this platform. You know, so I, I didn't intend for this to be a whole half an hour video, but, you know, I just wanted to call out the complete hypocrisy um, involved, you know, with this.